Hey guys, Taylor the Destructorator here, and welcome to the start of RL Craft. Now, for those of you unfamiliar, it is Minecraft with a very large mod pack that contains, well, at least the one I downloaded had 185 mods with it. Uh, Shivaxi was like the lead person who put the mod pack together, uh, tweaked all the settings to try to get everything good. But uh, he did not make all the mods. He ha There was a bunch of players that submitted mods to him. So, um, Oh, check out that dragon. That dragon is huge. Holy shit. Anyway, so... Yes, we gotta worry about dragons. Yes, we gotta worry about all sorts of new creatures and everything. We could freeze to death. We could die of heat. Thirst. Um... We could get one shot in the head and die. We could get one shot in the body and die. There's a beholder. Uh, we could even spawn in the ocean. So, and there's serpents in there and stuff too. Um, just a quick thing I wanted to touch on. I did add two more mods to this. Uh, first one was the uh, gravestone mod. And that is so when we die, uh, the spot that we died at will spawn a gravestone, and that is where all our stuff will be buried. Check out the, check out this dragon skeleton. That's cool. But um, all our stuff will be buried at that gravestone. All we got to do is just break the gravestone. We can get all our stuff back. I don't have to worry about it despawning. And the other mod was the iron chest mod. Iron chests. Uh, essentially, we can upgrade our wood chest to iron iron to gold, gold to diamond, so on and so forth. Um, and each time it upgrades, it expands on, uh, it, it damn near doubles in space. So that'll be nice. All right, let's dive in here. And we spawned in the water. All right. Um, please don't tell me we spawned in the ocean. If that's the case, I think I might just drown. Oh, well, we ended up drowning anyway. Oh, quit spawning us in water. Well, a forest. And maybe a village? I'm not sure what this is. It's got a good view. Some sort of like watchtower. Maybe we should just take this over. I would rather find a village. But I am going to take these torches. Go ahead and take this crafting table. No chest or anything. I'm not going to worry about the furnace. You know, staying there for the night might not be a bad idea. This way we could get stone tools made. Yeah, we might stay around here. Because the world of RL craft is very dangerous. We gotta worry about dragons. Uh, tons of other things. These guys, not so much. But, uh, there's a lot of things out there that want us dead. Alright, we got enough of these rocks to make ourselves some cobblestone. Let's go ahead and break some branches. You might notice that I'm doing this a little far back, and that's just because anytime you break anything in RL Craft, there's always a chance it could spawn into something, so... Why are you on fire? Oh. That's not good. Go ahead and put this back down. Since we are going to camp here for the night.
Got quite a few stones. Go ahead and turn those into cobblestone. Make ourselves a pickaxe. Great. Let's get a little more stone before the sun sets, and then we will just hide out here for the night. Um, God, I would really like to find some sheep. We know where we live, or are staying anyway. See if there's any sheep in the area. I hear the flap of a dragon. We gotta go. Don't want to go that way. There's a house over here. Let's head over there. We can camp there for the night. With any luck, there might be a bed. Oh, it's not a house. But we can hide out here. In a stable. Oh, it looks like the dragon was burning stuff down, so we gotta avoid that general direction. Because I definitely do not want to run into a dragon. We are... <laughs> It, it, it'll it'll be certain death. Just not seeing any sheep. There's a cow. Don't want a cow. Getting my hands on wool. That's what I really wanted. All right, we need to go. It is going to be super dark here very shortly. And a, a nighttime in this is pretty much a death sentence, especially when you're just starting out and you have nothing. Well, something we could do. because I left the one over at the tower. We'll just camp out here till morning. Now, something I did want to touch base as the sun rises here, give it a few extra minutes this way. Anything that might be out there that wants to kill us has a chance to despawn. But, uh, uh, you notice that circle thing in the middle above our experience meter? That is our temperature gauge. If we get too hot or too cold, we can die of hypothermia. So, uh, something to keep an eye on. Also, you'll notice we have a thirst meter right above our hunger bar, so that's another thing we gotta got to worry about here. Well, we got a nymph out here. I guess if we get hurt, we could always go back to her. Um, I was thinking maybe we should make ourselves a weapon or two before we actually leave in the hopes to find a village. So, let's chop down a few more trees. We are going to need a little more stone. Now, I would rather be working with spears here. And there's a couple different spears we can make. But, uh... This will work. Let's go ahead and get some of these guys killed. Get some food. And we'll get some, some sand here, make some jars. Oh, 
Oh, he's getting a little too close to that dragon for my liking. I think that dragon may have seen us. I definitely don't need to be any closer than that. Let that go a little bit. Let's go ahead and get a little more glass. Or sand so we can make glass. And the last one's finished, thank god. I really don't want to spend here another night here. I think, uh, we'll get as far as we can. And then, if we have to, we'll get down into the dirt. A few more chickens. Uh, we better get underground. Damn it. Damn, I was really hoping we would have seen something. Yeah, we need to get underground now. At least we got stuff we could do. Ooh, some coal. Uh, risky. Why is it risky? Because things, when they break, can spawn in monsters. Okay, that's enough. Oh, now I hear a sheep. Go ahead and cook these chickens. Hopefully, that sheep doesn't go anywhere. We're able to get our hands on some wool. Not entirely sure what that is. Also, I lost the sheep. Oh! Sheep died. Well, I was able to get some wool. What the? Oh, fuck you! Got some feathers out of that. Well, I guess the good news is he killed enough sheep for me, or yeah, enough sheep to get me enough wool to make a sleeping bag. Fucking finally, we can skip nights. All right, let's continue, and hopefully, we can find our way to a village. Oh, my sheep. I gotta be careful killing a bunch of sheep because sheep are... Well, there's a creature that can spawn in when another creature dies. Oop, lagging. There's a creature that can spawn in when creatures die and it kind of looks like a reaper. Actually, I think that might be what it's called. Oop. Aw, oh, I thought maybe that was a village. But, uh... I seem to get those to spawn more out of sheep when I kill them than anything else. At least that's what it was like on the practice files. Let's get on top of this hill, see if we can spot any villages nearby. Lots of cows. Uh, 
Nothing, man. Oh, that sucked. Almost ended up with a broken foot. Wait a minute. Oh. What is... What is that? Don't think it's part of a village. Oh, no. Oh, it's abandoned. There's probably a bunch of spawners in there, too. Let's go around it. Wish we had an atlas. Atlas is better than a map, because with an atlas you can mark stuff on it. Oh, what's this? I hear a dragon. Run! Oh god. Please don't kill me. I think we're being followed. Oh no. Gotta run, 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 run. Around the corner. Holy shit, we got lucky. Uh, did we though? Is it luck? Oh, it's about to be nightfall. <laughs> this might not have been the brightest of ideas, because if there's a dragon circling this castle town, We're going to be easy prey for it. But this is good. Sort of. We can set a spawn point here. This will be a good place to go off of. Yeah, this dragon's gonna end up laying waste to the city. Which is not good. That's no bueno. Here is a waypoint. Let's, uh, let's rename it. City. Maybe we could just hide out here. There's some chests we could use for storage, so let's go ahead and just throw some stuff in here. Sorry, buddy. Hope you don't mind a roommate. Alright, I think we have a decent setup, minus the dragon that is nearby. I'm not sure where it went. Yeah, there goes that castle. Or the tower. One of those towers. We will have to avoid that general direction in the future. This is a good setup. We've already got stone tools. Uh, we need some wool. We need to craft some clothes so we can stay warm. Houses here are made of wool, so... There we go. Now we shouldn't freeze, and that provides a little bit of armor protection for us. Um, 
let's kind of get a view of what's around by getting on top of this mountain. And then I think we'll make plans from there. Some mountains we could dig into. I really want to avoid going to that side of town, which sucks because there's a lot of good stuff to check out over there. On my second practice file, I actually found one of these cities, and that's where I settled too. Same house, actually. What's an Angus doing up here? Oh! Well, right over the mountain, we got some neighbors. And if there's an Agus here, that tells me that there's actually villagers here. Oh yeah. You got some good stuff for me, guys? Well, get out of the fire, dumbass. Iron pickaxe. Golden pet armor. Get out of the fire, dumbass. some ore we could dig once we have our mining up there. Snatching a bed for me, guys. Well, guy. There's only one of you now. Let's make you a path out. Alrighty. Well, I think this will be a pretty good start. That dragon just worries me. We'll have to make an atlas, get out traveling, and see if we can't find a better place to settle down, but this'll this'll work for now. Temporary base of operations. Now one of the things I really want to make is something for uh a better weapon for us to have. So, I would like to make some poles. We need to get our hands on a little bit more wool. Starting to get late. Gonna pull in some cobblestone. Stone spear. Definitely prefer this over the sword because this automatically comes with reach. Here. So we can hit enemies further away. Uh, the next thing I'm gonna make here is a shield, but I think this is where we are going to call it quits. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode of RL Craft, and I hope you're looking forward to more. I hope you're as excited as I am. Um, as far as how far we will actually go for this series, I haven't decided yet. Obviously, I'm not going to do permadeath. Um, is there any quests we could do real quick? Uh, skeleton kills, some leather, and uh, nothing. Nothing really. I mean, there's some cows on the other side, but that's like over by the dragon. So, um, as far as how far we'll go, I would like to at least kill a dragon and get to the nether before we call the series quits. I'm not entirely sure what else there is. I mean, obviously, I know we could probably go to the end and face the ender dragon there, but uh, we'll just have to wait and see. Oh, I haven't even talked to you, like, ever. Well, someone I could give my rotten flesh to. Yeah, huh. Alright, um, yeah, this is where we're going to call it quits. We will pick things up here, right back here. Uh, I'm going to try to maybe get a few more resources so I can make us a shield. That would be pretty nice to have. 
before we start venturing out. But uh, we'll have to wait and see. Anyway, guys, once again, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. hope you're looking forward to more. You can follow me on Facebook if you're interested. The link is in the description below. Stick around for more RL Craft, and I will catch you all in the next one.